going sort of budget uh, problem. So why are you saying now that Race to the Top is jeopardized by this? This has never come up in, uh, in committee testimony of any kind. Well, because uh, until recently we did not uh, uh, face the possibility of, of uh, having to cut $851 million out of existing education funding. This is, a, this is a problem that uh, I think we expected to have been resolved uh, a long time ago. Couldn't legislators just cut something else and transfer that money to schools, at least protecting schools from losing the federal money? Well, if legislators uh, want to do that, they ought to identify what they're going to cut. Uh, I've cut a lot. Uh, and uh, if, you know, if they feel as if there is uh, $851 million of fat in the, in the budget and they're willing to say what they would vote to cut, they can do that. Uh, have you heard anyone? No, I, I, it's not fair for me to ask you questions, so I won't do that. But just let me say that I have not heard, I've not heard a single suggestion about what should be cut. In fact, when the, when the Republican caucus came, came out with their initial, quote, budget fix, they were actually adding to the cost uh, of state government, uh, not reducing it. So, you know, um, I simply do not think that we can cut further than we've already cut. And um, the only place to, to go uh, would be education, and that's education at every level, including higher education. Do you have fears that the, this group might be an example of a group that would end up bearing the brunt of any cuts that take place? Which group? This group, the second boot harvest, basically negating well, what good was done today. Well, you know, we cannot cut from the most vulnerable people in the state of Ohio. As I said, we're talking about education funding here. Uh, and uh, and if, if, if my my friends in the legislature, and I'm not trying to be confrontational here, and I hope you all understand that, but if my friends in the legislature feel that there are ways to cut $850 million out of this budget without cutting education, then I invite them to bring forth their plan and to be specific uh, about what they would support in terms of additional cuts. And are you opposed to, to clear, including you criminal don't... sentencing provisions in, in this? There has, you know, I'm, I'm for sentencing reform. There hasn't been a lot of discussion about that uh, in, in, in uh, recent uh, weeks. That, fact, that wouldn't be cause to veto, for example. Well, that's something that I want to see accomplished. I mean, I've, I've been a strong uh, proponent of prison reform for a long time. Governor, sentencing reform. Republicans are questioning the debt load of uh, uh, $1 billion in Third Frontier over five years, saying that, uh, you know, turning the debt to basically fund state government is a bad idea. And we well, we're not do it. we're not doing it to fund state government operations. We're doing it to invest in job creating initiatives. Um, would I support such a, a bond issue to provide operational expenses? Uh, absolutely, I would not. Um, but the third frontier uh, tier is uh, is an investment in, in economic growth and development, and uh, all the research shows. That it, uh, that it results in job creation and, uh, and uh, but you know I'm able and willing and, and anxious to talk about uh, how we can reach an agreement on third frontier funding. Uh, I'm not you know I'm not trying to be dogmatic on that issue.